Hey, what's up everyone? Long here. And so I apologize for this lighting, but unfortunately, um, Seattle had suffered a, uh, what's known as the bomb cyclone, uh, as a bomb cyclone, I should say. And unfortunately, like my neighborhood, along with many other, uh, counties in, uh, in Washington state are unfortunately out of power. Um, as of the time of this recording, uh, like 84,000, uh, or so homes have uh, customers had actually gotten their power back, uh, while another like uh, thirty hundred thirty six thousand, including our, including myself, are out of power for right now. But they uh, but uh, the uh, but the power electric company uh, is working to restore that. So I do apologize if that's the lighting I have to offer because right now there is no lighting. So um, I spent uh, today getting everything all set up and ready to go because um uh, because i just had other things so uh only now that do i have time to actually like uh, show you this uh, uh to record this uh review so uh so yeah i hope that you still enjoy it regardless and if you like what you see here at the end please do like the video comment on what you enjoyed and what you didn't enjoy and then if you want to see more content hopefully not in this kind of setting but perhaps like in a better setting when we when I hopefully finally get my power back um, yeah <laughs> uh, and if if you want to see more reviews from me please do uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell all right so anyway um, so I posted uh, like a early I posted uh, that um, I went to go see gladiator and uh, gladiator 2 and I I really meant it. It was so awesome. I could not believe it. I probably would have gone to see see this, uh, you know, with my own money, if I hadn't gotten the chance to go see it thanks to GoFobo, uh, like which is a site where you can just sign up and then, uh, like, and then just be on the lookout for any screenings that they happen to have. And Gladiator Two just happened to pop up on my feed. Uh, the very same evening so i i had no plans to like see this before and then uh and then like when the opportunity came i took it so they uh so and uh, i gotta say it was quite awesome i wish i could show you some more footage about this but i think it's like a straight upload uh i'll see what i can do with it but anyway i had needless to say i just had a lot of fun uh just um enjoying the uh the, the film so uh so yeah um so first coming into Gladiator 2, I did not have a lot of expectations about it, but my expectations got blown away. I was wondering what the heck Denzel Washington was doing in a, in a like a his, you know, like a historical uh, film piece like this, but it all makes sense. And uh, I'm convinced that he played a pretty good and pivotal role in uh, in Gladiator uh, 2. So uh, so that I'm just going to get that out of the way there. And uh, Paul Mescal, who I've never heard of, actually, uh, I, he turned out to be very good. Uh, he, I was sold on him as the uh, the Gladiator Hala, and um, and he has a very very uh, good pivotal role to play in Gladiator Two, and the connection to the first Gladiator will come into play later on. Um, so, but out of respect for uh, this week, there will be no spoilers to share. So uh, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm just gonna make this as spoiler free as I can. And then maybe a week or so later, I will put up a spoiler discussion on this. So yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the, um, uh, so the movie actually stars uh, Paul Mescal and he uh, and his, uh, uh, aunt who is married and they both serve, um, they both serve um, in an army uh, that, uh, uh, that involves, uh, <laughs> so like it start, starts off uh, with Paul Mescal where he lives, and uh, he's he's married. Uh, they both serve uh, in uh, in an army um, that's about to get invaded invaded by Rome. So uh, in the beginning, uh, like there's also like an, an intro that catches us up um, about the events that happened between Gladiator One and Gladiator Two. And I think that that uh, I think the uh, the sequence uh, they do in like uh, in that uh, art style I I think it's either Greek or Roman I can't I think it's Roman, but um, but here it's uh, it's done so well that they catch you up on like um, you know what 
uh, what happened uh, in Gladiator, Gladiator One, and especially uh, it's it, it's also familiar to uh, Gladiator uh, uh, One fans. So I I very much appreciate that sequence. Just kind of reminds me of like what happened there. Anyway, um, moving forward. Uh, like uh, the husband and the wife, they get called into action along uh, with their city to defend, and so they uh, so basically like uh, uh, Hala is the uh, is the warrior uh, is a soldier, and then his wife is the archer, and so they have their parts to play, and they they have like a very very glorious like uh, siege that plays out, um, and uh, uh, and so, like, uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, after so unfortunately the uh, the city loses, and then like, uh, and then uh, Hala is like uh, is taken prisoner, uh, and then later on is enslaved. So he's basically taken to Rome uh, to become a uh, a slave to a to basically a uh, yeah. Uh, actually, no. Let me go ahead and start over. <laughs> So, um, so, so, uh, so, um, following the, so Paul Mescal play, uh, you know, like, uh, so after the, uh, after losing the war, uh, Paul Mescal, uh, a character Hala gets, uh, yeah, gets captured and he's enslaved and he's taken to Rome. Uh, no, no, let me start over. So, uh, the movie opens up with, uh, Paul Mescal as Hala. And, uh, who plays the role Hala? He um, and so he's uh, married. Uh, he and his wife both serve the military. He uh, he is a fighter, and his wife is an archer. Uh, and so like uh, they have to like fend off a, a siege by the uh, by the Roman general uh, Acacius, who is played by uh, who is played by um, Pedro. Pa uh, yeah, that's right, Pedro Pascal. Um, he's a really cool dude. Uh, I actually very much um, love his work, and he actually fits it pretty well. I mean, I don't think there, I you know, the attempts to like put on these act these Roman accents or um, is I, it's really like paper thin. I mean, like I don't think they even tried to uh, incorporate any like accents, but nonetheless, it was actually uh, pretty cool. So um, the fight happens. And um, at, and then after the siege, like uh, Hala's uh, army loses, and then Hala himself is captured. He got he gets uh, enslaved. Um, and he gets enslaved, and then he gets uh, bought by uh, Denzel Washington's character, who is uh, Macrinus. Yeah, I think his I believe his name is Macrinus, and um, he. Uh, uh, he basically has a uh, who has a connection to like a uh, uh, Connie Nielsen's character from Gladiator One, uh, like Lucilla, and he uh, and basically uh, his role as Macrinus uh, is that he's a uh, slave trader, but we are later learn that he also is an arms dealer uh, for like many different uh, civilizations. That's he that's how he's able to move around, but he buys. Uh, but uh, he's impressed with. Uh, yeah, he's impressed with Hala, so he buys him, and then he this he basically tells him, "You will be my instrument," uh, <laughs> and yeah, very foreboding. Uh, and that's all. That's basically the only spoiler you're going to get. So I wanted to introduce these characters because uh, I think that they do an awesome job. Connie Nielsen really picks up from where she left off when, uh, you know, at, uh, when uh, Maximus met his fate, um, you know, in the Colosseum. Uh, basically freeing Rome, but unfortunately, Rome, uh, Rome's like uh, independence did not last for very long. Uh, the um, uh, the uh, <laughs> Rome is actually now has been uh, overrun and is conquered by uh, by twin brothers. So essentially, they they are very emo. I don't know like what the motivations were with these like uh, with these twin brothers. Why do they decide to like invade Rome? But uh, I. I just basically like uh, I didn't really care for them that much. I mean, they were just like, I think they just they they got into that parts, and that's all I can say. I mean, like I I don't want to say that they're overacting or anything, but I mean that's basically uh, what. <laughs> so I guess that's that that was their take. But okay, that's cool. 
I mean, like I'm, I'm, I'm okay with suspending disbelief for this one. So I'll just take it that, you know, they, they're okay villains. I mean, they're just way over the top. Um, but whatever, it's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, but anyway, like going back to the uh, the four principal characters, I think Paul Mescal really sells it as Hala uh, and as a uh, uh, as a gladiator. And and basically, like uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. If I say anything more than that, uh, he, uh, I'm going to end up spoiling things, which I'll be happy to do uh, next week. Hopefully, when it's uh, hopefully when there's actually power again. Um, but um, other than that, uh, he's a, he's a great fighter. He's got the charisma, and he actually like uh, he really does uh, come off as an actual gladiator. He's not, uh, yeah, he's not Roman, but neither, what, uh, but uh, well, yeah, he's not Roman, but then again, neither was Maximus uh, in the first gladiator. And we kind of wonder like why is this guy uh, the second gladiator? Why do they choose to like do uh, Gladiator Two instead of just coming up with a new title? And by the time you watch the movie, you understand why that is. And I I actually was, I bought it. I bought the plot, uh, like, afterwards. So, I, I thought it was done. Uh, Pedro Pascal is great. Uh, he is General uh, Acacius. Uh, he is the one who um, who invaded uh, Hala's, uh, you know, like, civilization. And then conquered, uh, conquered his people. And then basically took him prisoner and all that stuff. And then he enslaves him, so... Yeah, uh, but basically, like, uh, so he is essentially Hala's his target. He wants to. He basically wants him dead uh, in order to satisfy his bloodlust. His uh, like uh, Hala's uh, bloodlust and rage. So, um, hope. I mean, like, hopefully you get a chance to like see this and see it play out. So, now, uh, now finally, I'm gonna get to uh, talking about Denzel Washington and what is his connection with this mo movie. Um, that is the question that I'm going to go ahead and leave up to you, the viewer, uh, because it's it's a, actually pretty interesting. I, I thought it was a pretty interesting t uh, twist, uh, but I uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. But I, let's just say he has a pretty big role to play in this one. So um, the, what's notable about Denzel Washington is that his character actually was uh, written to be like a, to um, to be bisexual. Uh, it's not even implied. Not even implied. It's just like uh, you pick up on the dialogue and you pick up on their mannerisms. But yeah, Denzel Washington actually plays a bisexual character, and a, a rather ruthless one at that. And so um, it's nothing that. Uh, but there's. Uh, but I kind of like bought this as well. I mean, I think his motivations do work in this, and so like I. Um, so I mean like. Uh, it, uh, so I was like, it didn't really matter for me that uh, he is uh, he's bisexual uh, in this one. Uh, what mattered is that he sold his role really well, and uh, all um, I mean like there's there's a lot I want to say, but I'm not going to say that. I uh, just basically wanted to like point out that this is going to be the first time um, that I've seen like a you know seen um, this actually getting written into like a, a historic epic. Uh, like Gladiator 2. So, yeah, not bad. Very good. Um, I thought, I honestly thought he was well written, and, and you'll understand why. Um, so, yeah, so that's all I want. So, that's all I want to talk about with the characters. So, now let's go ahead and talk about, um, you know, like what worked really well. Um, the fight scenes, I thought they were very versatile. I thought they, um, I thought it was like shot very, uh, shot very beautifully. Um, there's basically like there's you know there's the Colosseum fights, but then there's also the initial like siege, uh, the opening siege that takes place, uh, which decides Hollis' uh, fate uh, journey, uh, you know his uh, his journey, not his fate, but rather his journey. Uh, there's also a scene where um, um, where they actually do a good job, like uh, like uh, you know depicting the River Styx. And then, like uh, the yeah, the boat uh, man, uh, uh, the boat ferryman uh, known as Caron. Um, so there's, um, I, I thought they did those scenes pretty well. Um, I was there was a little bit of disbelief that I had to suspend. I had no idea that this would happen, but uh, how they manipulate the Colosseum uh, in ways that make it that add some variety to the to the Colosseum games. Um, People do die, but they die in in very vicious ways, 
And that I thought was really, I thought the ways that the, uh, they did the Coliseum battles were, were essentially very creative. I, um, the fight and the way that they shot room, I don't know of like how much of that was CGI and how much of that actually took place, uh, in, um, like in a, like in a land, land where they still were able to preserve much of what, uh, was, uh, made, uh, uh, made up gladiators like original scenes but i freaking loved it i thought the cinematography was incredible i thought uh it was done so beautifully so uh yeah it, there, there's I, I mean like there, there's just so much i could uh talk about but it, it seems like they've done a pretty reasonably good job of nailing the authenticity of um you know of rome and then um and then like the the set pieces uh, so yeah, it, I thought it were they it worked out really well. So now, um, and then so now let's go ahead and talk about like what what I didn't think worked uh, very well. There are some plot contrivances which um, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, like if you watch the first Gladiator, you're you saw the beats coming miles away, and then like uh, you see uh, you see some of the uh, the the political plots. I thought they meandered for way too long, and I think like, um, you know, like if you're a veteran, like a like a gladiator fan, you're gonna see uh, some of the uh, how they unravel like uh, mile, from miles away. Uh, a lot of stuff happens; people's blood gets shed, and um, yeah, like people are just like, um, and then some of the uh, motivate some of the other motivations don't really make sense. Uh, I'm, I wish I could talk more about that, but otherwise, um, I felt that they kind of distracted a little bit from the, uh, overall, uh, plot of the movie, but not enough to the point where I thought it was, like, off-putting, so I actually, uh, overall, um, I actually had a great time watching the movie, so, um, yeah, but anyway, um, uh, overall, I thought that this was uh, I thought this movie was absolutely worth it. I very much loved that you know like how well written this movie was. I also loved the development of the characters. I actually thought it was really great to see like a uh, it, let's just face it, it's been a while since I've seen a movie where a male protagonist is actually taking the chart taking charge and is actually like doing well uh, and is actually the hero. So. Um, the last time I saw like a white man actually um, like play the role of a hero, that was basically Tom Cruise uh, when he was like when he was uh, Maverick, uh, Pete Maverick Mitchell on Top Gun. Those movies are like very like uh, like long forgotten in this uh, modern day Hollywood, which I don't know if it's going to heal or not. I know like uh, I know like in the aftermath of uh, of a lot of things that's happened pretty recently. I'm not going to like divulge. Uh, dive too far, far into those events but um I, I don't know I think like this is kind of like one of those like lost art kind of movies where you know if you had all the creative freedom in the world this is the kind of movie I would totally go out and see I mean I'm not I'm not into like forced diversity I'm not into like forced uh you know like you know race swapping I didn't see the, like any of that race swapping here because it's because the way that this movie was written and it was actually made, it was, you know, the, a lot of precedents were already set in the first Gladiator, which made a lot of sense. I think mean, the scenery made sense, the setting makes sense, uh, the civilizations that interacted with one another made a lot of sense. So, um, basically, I, I, I think that the, I, I think it was truly a, a, um, a return to form, and I don't mean to use that in a, stere in a cliched way. But this is really a return to form in the way that, like, the movies I grew up with uh, were. And I loved every moment of it. So, yeah, call me uh, old, uh, acquaint antiquated, but old-fashioned. But I think, in this case, like, old-fashioned absolutely works. Um, Paul Mezcal really sold it as the gladi the, the titular uh, second gladiator. So I'm, um, I'm quite happy with his performance. Um, and, but Denzel Washington was such an outstanding, like, addition to, uh, the, uh, to the cast, so I hear that there's going to be a Gladiator 3, uh, I don't know if that's going to pan out very well, 
maybe if it uh, depending on like how well people in this day and age will receive the movie maybe like uh, there will be a gladiator 3 in the works because this one really succeeded uh, on every which way almost every which way possible so um if i had the chance to read it i would basically give it an 8 out of 10 so um definitely like worth worth the time and money to go see out in theaters the the set pieces are spectacular uh otherwise you could see it on in stream but i probably it, you probably will not get the same experience as before so i think they were pretty extraordinary it's not 3d but it is a it's quite the visual experience to uh to behold so anyway uh also um i i still crushed on connie nielsen um i i really liked her when uh when i first saw for the first time growing up and now uh, now in this age i i still love connie nielsen um i think she was just beautiful and fantastic so yeah anyway um that's it for me but thanks again for watching my review if you like what you saw here please do like the video comment on what you enjoyed and didn't enjoy and if you want to see more content like this hopefully in a better setting uh then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell all right that's it everyone thanks a lot and hang loose.